equivalent to the Boston cream. You can hear it has a nice little shell. I don't know if I've ever even had a Boston cream, so I don't know what gravitated me towards this today, but what's the proper way of eating something like this? Do you break it in half or you just take a big bite and like let it ooze out? Like what is... What's the vibe? What's the move? What are you gonna do? To get the cream? Wow. First of all, the dough is just like, you can see it's just cooked to like perfection. Like I like a little bit darker. The chocolate is just enough and it has a nice chocolatey taste. It's not too dark. It's like a milk chocolate. And then the cream is just so flavorful. What do you rate it? A 9.5. Whoa! Plus I haven't had a donut in a really long time. The last time I had a voodoo donut, I was not impressed. I think I got like an Oreo crunch. I think I thought about it too much. Today it was like, oh, that one. And amazing. So I'm gonna save it for yeah, later. I gotta be done with the donuts. Good job, voodoo. Voodoo donuts. Good. This is the hibiscus. Mmm. That this is like so a nine fresh. point chick. It's got the sweet hibiscus icing with the donut, little chocolate sprinkles for a little added texture. This is day two of eating in Denver. And we had a busy morning, didn't really eat, just like snacked on some things that I had. And I'm not really hungry because we're going to dinner soon. So I went to Native Foods, which is an all vegan. I think they're like a chain, but I'm not really sure. I know there's a few of them in Denver besides Denver. I don't think I've ever been to them. So I order something from the kids menu, which is not something I do, but I'll show you what it is. I just wanted something small. So I got the chicken tenders with French fries because I love my French fries. And it came with a watermelon fresca. It came with, I'm assuming, <laughs> This is ranch or blue cheese. I think it's like a vegan ranch. Oh, that's so good. I think there's some mint in there. Oh, that's really good. What's that sauce? I don't know. I'm about to find out. Mm. Hmm. It's like a Cajun french fry sauce. Mm. Or seasoning and a vegan ranch. Isn't that amazing? This is vegan, guys. Vegan, this is plants, people. Plants. Mm. Mm. It's fantastic. It's everything you want in a chicken tender. That's it for native foods for now. Yeah, it was a very random. We didn't believe him at first. Yeah. Does he have a girlfriend? I got the vegan pho, and it's a little bit more spicy than I'm used to. I love pho. I try to get it any opportunity I can. And it's just a little spicy. It reminds me of a ramen. The noodles are really good. It has some bok choy. It has a lot of vegetables, actually. Asparagus. It's got a tomato. Mushrooms. Oh, it's got a carrot in here. It's got like every vegetable. How are they feeling? So if I were to rate this pho, it would be a 6.5, only because it's a little bit... Yes, yeah, thank you. thank you so much. Um, it's a little spicier than I normally used to. There's like something that has like a funky taste. I don't know what it is. That's totally, it almost seems like an afterthought, but I don't know if this is how they always serve it. But lastly, their service is the 9.8. They're amazing. And I never really drank tea, but the tea is very good. Cheers. So cute. <laughs> My grandma says I'm cute. Wait, say it one more time. <laughs> true, true. It's so cute. You guys just so love that. Oh, thanks, grandma. I'm 
I'm chiming in after trying vegan spa. Vegan spa. <laughs> Dina spa. I didn't really get the heat that she was talking about. I did get like the tomato like flavor and like a little bit of like chili, but I really didn't get any like major spice. I think it does differ. I've never had traditional pho in the traditional sense. Maybe that's what you didn't like about it. But from an objective like flavor standpoint, I give it a solid 8.2. So I have the peach. It smells very peachy. The chocolate is spicy. Grandma, what do you think of your sandwich? Grandma's trying the apricot cheddar. Wonderful. How is your food and tea, Grandma? Delicious, yum. This breakfast, but I've never had Irish breakfast. Rachel's going in for the matcha. Mm, love matcha. What do you think? What do you rate it? Wow. Like a nine. Is it mixed with something that you can tell? No. This is the chicken right, salad. Right it's like light. It's not bad. We have the cucumber cream cheese. Oh, and chives. Grandma, you want one of the chicken sandwiches? Yeah. Right? Creamy. I it looks like you would the one note I will say for the bread, it's a little hard. So it feels oh, like it was made not like right before we got here, which is understandable. It's Easter, um, but I do have to take a few points away from that. So, um, so not quality and freshness points. Yes, it's still good flavoring. <gasps> cool. That's like a little. Grandma's like, what are you guys doing? Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. What flavor is you getting? It's like um I can't put my finger on it. But it tastes kind of like a caramel. But like not. What do you rate the blueberry macaroon? Like a 9.5. Whoa. Mm. It's smooth. It's flavorful. I think that's mango, but I can't tell. Mango, lemon, lime? I feel like mango and lemon or lime sounds good. Yeah. So, how was it? So good. My food at Vital Root, I would give like a nine, like a solid nine. It was just really good. There's just something missing with the waffles. A little bit more acidity. Yeah, um, something with acidity, but it was really good. It had a good balance of flavor, good texture. Um, the maple syrup, perfect. The yuca fries are so good. What did you think of the yuca fries? Oh my god, I haven't had anything fried in a very long time. Yuca, I haven't had in forever. It's ten, ten, ten. They, they were, had like a pesto. Is that pesto on the bottom? I don't know. Was that they pesto on the bottom? Uh, so it's chimichurri. Oh, oh. chimichurri. Chimichurri. Chimichurri and banana. And banana ketchup. So it's chimichurri <laughs> and, and chimichurri banana ketchup. Yeah, like a lot of the things. Yeah. Mm. My first ship in 40 days. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> The dip, the juices, the sauce. Yeah, yeah. 
last bite of this big, delicious burrito. Thank you. I got that big burrito. It had some good vegetables in it. There was broccoli, carrots, and I like that they were diced up small. They weren't like chunks of broccoli because sometimes that could be hard to eat. So that definitely gets a few extra points. A lot of onions, but that's okay. Black beans and rice. But I do feel like something was missing. Maybe if there was, a, there wasn't any pico, I don't think, inside. I don't think I had any pico. I think it was on top with the lettuce. But very small. If I think the lettuce and the pico were inside, they were just it a little bit on top. Used more pico. I think it would have been better. So for those reasons, I will give it a 7.6. That's kind of high. What yeah. did you think of the enchilada sauces? I like the sauces. I like the, the difference between the green and the red. I'm glad I got both of them. Thank you so much. I give mine a six. Because I thought it was not that much better than Chipotle. And I feel like if I'm paying, it should be like a little bit better than Chipotle. I, I didn't even get any bonus points here today. My stomach hurts, but we are about to do some ho-ho eating. We're gonna eat all the hoes. I'm funny, you guys. This is a pina colada cupcake. Not really sure what's in the middle. Topped with a pineapple and a cherry. Mmm. It tastes like pineapple, not too strong of like peanut. Which I mean, is vanilla, good. other flavors. Vanilla, not too much. Maybe cinnamon? No cinnamon. Is it sweet? Not too sweet. Okay, what about texture of the cake? There's no egg in it. Moist. I know people love that word. So today, Dina and I are trying the vegan ho-ho and the vegan cosmic brownie. We're gonna dig into this first. Mm. It smells amazing. It does not smell, obviously, like the artificial um, cosmic brownies from Little Debbie's that we're all used to. Well, Rachel and I will split this, I guess. No, no, I'm gonna go on half. I just want like a quarter of that. Okay, like, Rachel will have a bite. quarter. <laughs> and I gotta- Cheers. I will say that if I didn't know this was vegan, you would not know that this was vegan. Oh, no. This is just an amazing baked mm -hmm. good. If you can see, but there's like that fudge with that icing still. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. I give this a, like I can't think of anything wrong with it. Mm-mm. Right, not like overwhelming. Rachel's saying that this is amazing. Perfectly chocolatey mm. without being too chocolatey. Like it looks like it would be like Wow, that's a lot of chocolate, but it doesn't taste like a lot of chocolate. Wow. I agree. I thought it was going to be like really fudgy. Yeah. Because fudgy, fudge is like so thick. I'm like, mm. <coughs> I give it a 10, honestly. I don't know how so you would make a, a better brownie. Is this healthy? I yeah. wouldn't call it healthy, but it's not. There's no animals harmed making this food. You want a sliver of this? No. I'm going to dig into the ho-ho. Dina, can you cut, film the cut? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please, to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like oh, do you maybe want more vanilla or it's, it's just giving off more of like an icing vibe. The chocolate yeah. ganache topping is incredible though. Mm. Now we're just going in for the bite. I really hyped this up to Dina, but I honestly <laughs> well, think I mean, the cosmic brownie it. is better. I give this an 8.8. .8. You also, though, could not tell that it was vegan unless you knew it was vegan. Yeah. Overall, I give Make Believe a Bakery a 9. Well, I, if you were not vegan and just want a good baked good, I'd give it an 8.7. If you want a vegan options, I would give it like a 9.6 still. I'm going to have one of... <laughs> Ew! On that note, I make my exit. I'm going to have one more bite before I rate it. Um, but that was very chocolatey. And I don't think I had any, I feel like I didn't have any cream in that bite. No, you didn't. You had a bit in. Oh, my grandma, I do you have in. this show? 
<laughs> you got new PJs? <laughs> All right, ready? They were so cheap, they were like six bucks. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> I gotta show you what I bought. <laughs> <laughs> from Walmart. I want more cream. <laughs> I need some water. <laughs> like, I just have... think that there's not a good ratio of ingredients. Sorry. <coughs> what do you give it? No, I agree. Well, I give the Cosmic Brownie like a 9.9. .9. Like it's really good. It's out of this world, someone even said. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> we just see grandma's feet. <laughs> she was <laughs> just got shiny, ladies and gentlemen. They're not coming off. <laughs> this video is sponsored by A1 <laughs> Shoe Repair. She would one catch in this video for 25% off. Shoe and luggage repair. In Denver, this video, 25% off. Aurora color. Just for you look at this. The shoe is shine is so good, you're not going to take them off to go to sleep. <laughs> I can't with your teeth. You still got chocolate in it. <laughs> the cookie is probably like... A... Oh. COVID. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> when I eat too much, I cough like that. This is the day after we got the desserts from Make Believe, Make Believe Bakery. And I agree with Kate and what she just said, which is that it tastes a lot better today. Yeah. I do think it's better because, like, it's very room temperature now. And so, like, the icing is more mushy and mm -hmm. not yeah. mushy. But like it's not so hard. Yeah. But like so whatever. Oh, is, is I don't hard. remember yeah. what I rated it yesterday. I think it was like a seven something. But but right now I'm gonna give this like a nine one. Wow. wow. No way. For a vegan baked good, and for a baked good in general like an eight seven. All right. So mine's I'm, pretty good. Mine tastes the same. Yours is really I good. I tried Rachel's today What's though, the, what's and I did the, not like it. I thought it tasted like cold medicine. Of all things. What's the filling? I don't know. This is more soft, and it just like cuts. And the, like the vanilla icing is a, it's like spread out now. Yeah. Less aggressive, I guess. Good, right? The shit is so good. Much better. So this is what I was hyping up to Dina. Cause I really hyped this place up. And she was really doubting me. She doubted me I didn't, City I City. I never doubted. When I got never there and doubted. she saw the menu. I did not. Her face was so telling. Are you assuming? I was just tired. She was assuming. No, I was tired and face. hungry. Okay. I just thought the cupcake I had yesterday was like an off cupcake. But really it was just cold. Yeah. So now, now that's a great note for the future. Wait until room temperature. I don't yeah, know if, if there's a sign in there. Bakery, leave it out for probably a couple hours before you dig in. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. I'm very grateful. I was able to be a part of Dina's food series and appear in some guest spots as her channel and her and her sampling go. Um, this has been so fun and we've eaten. <laughs> and we've eaten so many fun things and I've been loving <laughs> I've, been, I've been loving being able to do this experience with her and cannot wait for more samplings and rating soon because I have a lot of opinions and we've become so articulate oh <laughs> we've become so articulate at communicating more than just like because I think sometimes people just think like is this good or is this bad but it's analyzing a flavor profile and seeing what you could do better and seeing what you liked and welcome Welcome to the show. <laughs> yeah, this is officially the first episode of this travel food vlog, at least to this caliber. And I'm really grateful that you were able to be here and guide me uh, through the Denver Eats. Thank you for watching and chat for now. Please like, subscribe, because I will be doing more of these Leave videos. comments if there's any places in Denver that you think yes. have really good vegan options, because Dino will be back. Or throughout the country, because I plan on traveling. San so. Diego. Wherever. Florida. I'm getting out there. We're seeing the world. <laughs> what are you doing? Vegan style. Getting out there. Vegan style. Into the world. Vegan, Vegan style. style. <laughs> All right. Ciao for now.
Say bye, Rage. For... Yeah, you licked that for it. <laughs> All right. Say bye for the bye death. Bye for now. <laughs> it's ciao for now. Oh, ciao for now. <laughs>